All right, welcome back, good people. On this video, I want to talk about the history of PayPal. When you decide to start an online business and you start to understand that it's necessary that you get money generating, you're going to have to use systems like PayPal. Now, do you know anything about PayPal? Probably not, but you know that it's a money source. If you know anything about the online business, you probably know that it's the, one of the money sources that transfers money from one place to the other, right? So what I want to do is I want to give you a little brief introductory uh, via video uh, about PayPal so that you would have a different perspective about it than you have right now, right? Not that it's going to you know, tell you everything that you need to know, but it will give you a few things that you, know, you didn't know. And it begins, PayPal Holdings, Inc. is an American company operating a worldwide online payment system that supports online money transfers and serves as an electronic alternative to traditional paper method like checks and money orders. The company operates as a payment processor for online vendors, auction sites, and other commercial uses, users for which it charges a small fee in exchange for benefits such as one-click transactions and password memory. Now, don't you think that was a great idea for someone to come up with that? I mean, think about that for a second. You want to move money from one place to the next, and you are willing to pay to move that money. And these people come up with a process that helps you do that and just charge you a small fee, right? But there are so many transactions that's, that it's worth it. It's so worth it, right? Okay, continuing on, it says, Established in 1998 as Conformity, PayPal had an initial, had an initial public offering in 2002 and became a, a, wholly, a wholly owned subsidiary of eBay later that year. In 2014, eBay announced plans to spin off PayPal into an independent company by mid-2015, and this was completed on July 18th of 2015. In March of 2000, Conformity merged with XCOM, an online banking company founded by Elon Musk. Musk was opportunistic about the future success of the money transfer business Conformity was developing. Musk and then President and CEO of X.com, Bill Harris, disagreed on this point and Harris left the company in May of 2000. <clears throat> now in October of that year, Musk made the decision that X.com would terminate its other internet banking operations and focus on the PayPal money service. Shortly after PayPal's IPO, the company was acquired by eBay in July of 2002 for $1.5 billion with a valuation of over $23 a share or 77% above the IPO price. PayPal acquired the VeriSign Veri Sign Payment Solution in 2005 to expand its e-commerce business and provide added security support. In 2007, PayPal announced a partnership with MasterCard that led to the development and launch of the PayPal Security Card Service, a software that allows customers to make payments on websites that do not accept PayPal directly by generating a unique single-use MasterCard number for each checkout. See, all this is on a different level altogether, right? But it's all possible because you bring smart people together. Right? When you bring people together that know things that you don't know and you know things that they don't know, then you can work collectively and come up with some brilliant ideas that can really, you know, set your life in a different direction. Right? Continue going. Uh, it was announced on September 30th, 2014 that eBay would spin off PayPal's, PayPal into a separate pub publicly traded company to move demanded in a move demanded in 2013 by activist hedge fund magnate Carl Icahn. 
The spinoff was completed, was completed on July 18th of 2015. On July 1st of 2015, PayPal announced that it was acquiring digital money transfer Exoom X O O M Corporation. PayPal spent $25 a share in cash to acquire the publicly traded Exoom or about $1.09 billion. The deal was closed in the fourth quarter of 2015 and the move strengthened, strengthened PayPal's international businesses, giving it access to Zoom's 1.3 million active U.S. consumers or customers that spent about $7 billion in 12 months ending March of 30, March 31 of that same year to people in 37 countries. So you see, when you're dealing on on the, the international level, when you're dealing with so much, you're going to have to uh, understand that there are going to be things involved that you probably can't do, right? So you're going to have to have a strong team around you. Now, not saying that you're going to grow to that level, and not saying that you wouldn't want to grow to that level, but that's another level altogether. You have to understand that. But you still can use PayPal. It's, you'll still be using PayPal. So that's why I wanted to share just a little bit about that with you this week as to uh, what you decide you to you can build on or you want to build with. It can grow to numbers that are astronomical, just incredible numbers, incredible success. But you also have to realize that with success comes responsibility, comes things that you didn't count on, right? So just be mindful about that going forward, right? All right. I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. I hope that I didn't go over five minutes. I'm trying to keep them under five minutes. And in the beginning, it's going to be a challenge because I, you know, would normally do 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm trying to get these under five minutes. And, said I'm, and I'm just going by what I'm feeling. I'm not really I'm having a timer that says, eh, time's up. So don't forget to like these videos. My name is Larry James. My company is Speak With Larry. And I'll see you on the next video.